Well, hello guys and welcome to another vlog and I am looking very, very shiny and sweaty. Um, I'm just about to take my makeup off, it is actually the evening, um, which is quite a strange place to start the vlog. Um, but yes, I am going to do my evening skincare with you guys and... Yeah, get all this grubby makeup off my face because it has been a long day and I need to get in my pyjamas and yeah, otherwise I just can't function. I need to get in my pyjamas, take all my makeup off, put my hair up before I can actually relax. So, I'm waving my hairy hairbrush around. Um, yeah, I'm going to get my PJs now. Okay. Let's get this grubby makeup off my face. Number one product is S Bar. Um, what's it called? Cleansing Sorbet. This one is, I'll show you. It's not like um, the Elemis one, so it's not like a hard balm. It's really quite gloopy. Um, yeah, I'd say it's like a gel consistency. And love the smell of this. This smells like sweets. Just like the best feeling ever if you're a girl. <laughs> and like ridiculous, but I didn't even have that much makeup on. Like I just had tinted serum. But it really does just get everything off. Using my face halos. I really love using these because they just are so fluffy and they're really soft on my skin um and they do have i think i don't know they just stay really well compared to normal muslin cloths that you get then i'm gonna do a second cleanse with the cleansing milk which is like more of a lighter cleanser and this just rolls so fresh. I have a very exciting photo shoot tomorrow. And I'm actually taking you guys with me. So you get to see what I get up to. So I thought, let's do a bit of a pamper. And just get my skin feeling ready for tomorrow. I have been obsessed with the new face. I don't even know what it's called, but I will link it in case you want to try it for yourself. Um, and I just have the activator gel. I like to work on one section at a time. But I have it on actually the highest setting possible, which is um, the highest kind of microcurrent you can get. And it just works absolute wonders. Um, for lifting and tightening and I can really tell like an instant effect. It helps with lymphatic drainage and it just works wonders. I'll do this side first so you can see um, any changes. So I don't know if you can see but compared to like this side here you can see this line it's totally smoothed it out just by doing that and that is only by like a little bit. You can do this for like up to 10 minutes. I'm gonna do the other side now, otherwise we don't wanna look lopsided. I'm gonna have my glow toner that I always use. This is really good for like instant pore shrinking. I always wake up in the morning and it looks like my skin is super smooth and it's because of this. And I like to pat it on. This is honestly the best toner I've ever used. A bit of a random choice, but I just love how this feels. Um, oh no, my camera is flashing red. Okay, we are back. My current favorite eye serum. It's basically really cooling to your eyes. And what is this, L'Oreal? Yeah, L'Oreal Revitalift. And I don't think it's too cheap, but it's not like expensive, expensive. I just love how it feels. It feels so refreshing. This in the morning as well, really good. 
Now, if I did have time, I would use the Super Collagen Mask, um, but I don't have time because it's quite late. So we're gonna skip this face mask tonight. I have been using the Tata Harper Rejuvenating Serum and I just love the branding. I love the packaging of this. I think it looks super chic. And this has been working really well for my skin recently. It's just kind of giving that glowy look and I can tell when I put it on, I'll show you in a minute, but it just makes my glowy, like you can feel it working. It's got active ingredients in um, that is really good for sensitive skin as well. And it smells incredible. I love how kind of you can feel the active ingredients working um, just for a bit and then it kind of settles down. But yeah, it hasn't irritated my skin at all. And yeah really really loving this and my secret weapon for waking up looking super glowy is obviously super glow and tan lux i have used for a long long time it's the only tan that doesn't irritate my skin and it's actually skincare based tan um at the heart of their branding so i just love what they do and super glow is you can't go wrong with this um it really just gives you such a natural look to actually put this on my hands as well if you're a bit scared like me and have quite dry hands and every time you fake tan um it just clings to your hands i would recommend just putting a couple of drops mixed with your um hand cream on top of your hands and just mixing like this so it just blends in seamlessly and then to finish it off the evelom face oil this just seals everything in like a little cocoon i think that is it for the night so i'm gonna get an early night but i have a very exciting thing to do tomorrow so I will speak to you all in the morning. I'm right in the sun. Oh dear. I've got my Earl Grey tea. Stopped on. Stopped off at Starbucks. Yep. Yeah, because you can never do a photo shoot on an what empty about? stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it is really true. Because you get hangry and you then get you a get shaky moody. camera. You can't shaky hold a camera. camera. <laughs> <laughs> you Yo. have to buy the photographer lunch. From Starbucks. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, it looks good actually. We are going on a shoot day. And you're taking pictures of mm. dresses. Yeah, spring dresses. So I'm going to look very strange walking around. When do you not look strange? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, location number one is this lovely pink room. And it has lovely windows, so I think they'll be good. This is our setup at the moment. But how nice is this? We're gonna go out there in a bit. But it is quite windy, isn't it, Emma? Um, it, well, is it? It's a bit breezy. It looks so nice. Okay. So I'm a photographer today. We're going to do snap snaps. <laughs> Snap to it! Snap to it, darling. Yeah, I like the light that in those. That one's good. I like the little flick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At the bottom. That's very, very nice. nice. The light's good. Okay. So it like, goes through the dress. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, too. Okay, fab. We've moved outside. So, like, oh, some shots going off. Do a few more ways. We're outside. Have you said that? Yes, I've oh. said that. <laughs> <laughs> She's already beat me to it. <laughs> Out 
outfit number two. And then we've taken some pictures in this lovely room in the window with my creative direction. Yeah. Of course. Obviously. Uh huh. Might have to come back here, take some pickies myself. Location number two. <laughs> and we were just in there getting changed. There she is. Photographer. Bend and snap. <laughs> and then yeah. How amazing. French chateau style. I mean just looks so pretty. This is amazing. It's even got sound effects. Do you think it's like sound effects based on when people walk through? Because I can't hear it otherwise. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's practice. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Emma's crib. Here she is. More wine. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we need to go now. On, We're gonna get locked in. Yeah, look at that wall. Wow, look at that lovely wall. Just love it. And the floorboards. Give me the floorboards. Hmm. Got my Uggs back on. My socks. Coming this way, oh yeah. Wow. Amazing. Wow, look at that gallery. Gallery? Is it a gallery? Okay, we better go. We've not even explored half of it. Like, we've not even been in these bits. Oh, can you not go in those? But well, you can go out here, but obviously there's nothing in there. Hmm. Just look at that. Imagine, that imagine, being imagine all that Coming being up. built like it was never finished. This I don't think was it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I bet it did. Well, it wasn't um, finished, was it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think there's some really old writing on the wall somewhere. 19... Yeah. Something. Eight, right? Eight. Or on this side. WM1884. Um... Yeah, there's loads. Wow. Um, really? Cool beef. <laughs> <laughs> buy this how house. I'd like to buy this and do it up. <laughs> it's a wrap. Wrap, guys. <laughs> That's a wrap. Morning, everyone. I have just had a shower and I can't actually remember where I last left you. I think it was when I was doing my shoot the other day. And not gonna lie, that was a few days ago and I have just been super busy planning this year. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but January was so busy. Um, like normally it's really quiet, but this year, wow. So yeah, been busy, busy and I have just washed my hair and I need to show you what I got the other day 
and it's like a filter for your shower so i'll show you because we have really hard water here and it always irritates my scalp it makes my skin really dry um and also my hair like because i'm blonde it kind of messes with the condition as well um but yeah it's been really really good so far and yeah i'll show you it now so this is it here and you basically attach it to your normal shower and it has a filter in it that you can replace every three months and it just filters out all of the hard water which is incredible and even kind of after probably the first shower i noticed such a difference um so yeah i think it's called hello clean and yeah i just thought surely it's not going to change that much but obviously we must have really hard water so yeah it's just so so good and i can go longer between having hair washes now um right i need to get out of the shower because this looks very very strange and then i use this every three to four washes and it basically is heat activated so it kind of is a sealant for like humidity um because i get loads of flyaways especially where it's kind of regrowing on the top where i've like taken a break from bleaching this is just so good to catch all the flyaways and make it super smooth and then the blow dry cream that i love is this one it's the one minute transformation styling cream and you only need a little bit of this but this makes your hair so sleek and so easy to style and yeah it just makes my curls last longer as well so yeah really recommend this one as well so these are my two products that i've just fallen in love with this year already and then my ysl perfume that i'm running low on um and estee lauder lip oil which i love as well i did have it cut the other day i had it styled around the front i had some longer layers put in and i think i had about i mean you can't even see it on the camera but i think i had about two inches off it and it just makes it feel so much thicker and more volumized. This hair dryer is actually so good. It's the GHD, I think it's called Helios. This was their special edition one that they bought out. And this is so, so powerful. Honestly, it has halved my dry time for my hair and my hair takes so long to dry honestly if i leave it to air dry it takes all day and it just holds so much water so these incredible if you've got hair like mine that just holds water please get one of these okay this is from pretty lavish from their new collection i think it's from their new in um and yeah i've just got nothing underneath because i am going to get dressed properly in a bit because we are actually going to the peak district this weekend it's friday today and i thought i would actually take you with us so that'll be coming in the next video um and we have booked a very cute little cottage with a roll top bath a fire and yeah i just can't wait use my wide dhds um just to do a bit of like a cheat blow dry the curly ever after spray and you actually spray this onto dry hair and it holds your curls so this actually works really well but yeah you're meant to spray it kind of on each section but i just spray all over section first okay curl under each section this bit out this 
may look a bit crazy, but I just like to go over it with the uh, Living Proof Dry Shampoo. It adds a bit more volume and obviously if you put dry shampoo on after you've just washed it, then it makes it last longer. Considering that took me like 10 minutes, it's not bad. Just smooth it. That is my very, very quick blow dry look. I have actually done the upholstering of the bed, but I think it just needs to be in a separate video because I've done little bits here and there and I need to put it all together and make sure it actually makes sense before I post it. Um, so yeah, that'll be coming with the next video as well. Um, so yeah, you'll have a big up bedroom update from me. Um, but yes, I better go and pack and obviously I will update you guys when I get there. But yes, I hope you all enjoyed this little vlog of behind the scenes. We'll be doing many more behind the scenes, I am sure. Um, but yes, I love you guys lots and catch up soon.